don't think we, you want to hear my words. So instead, I'm going to read the words of our colleagues in Gaza, the personal messages that they've sent us over the last month. This is early on, a month ago. We need you and your colleagues to reach out to our scene of massacre to all the world. We trust you. Please be our voice, a senior pharmacist. The most difficult thing I am is when I am writing on the body of a little baby, unknown number X. I am writing with broken heart, shaking hands, and eyes full of tears. Emergency medicine doctor, Gaza. An emergency doctor after identifying the bodies of the previous dean of his medical school, of his dean's daughter, one of his medical students who he trained with, and his grandchildren. He said, I am the only one who knows them because the whole family was wiped out. Sons, daughters, grandchildren. And then I have to go back to work and continue my work as if nothing happened. Emergency medicine doctor. Gaza. The situation is out of control in hospitals. The wounded are dying and colleagues are very exhaust exhausted. Nobody's helping us. The world has come together to eliminate us. Physician working at the Red Crescent Hospital in Gaza. We as medical staff want to leave, but we cannot. We might not survive until the morning. to our patients and our medical profession. I am calling for help urgently. Please do whatever you can through your government or the international, the ICRC, the Red Cross, to arrange a safe corridor for the medical staff. Please treat this as top urgent. This is the director of the major hosp trauma hospital in Gaza.